everybody and get to Nerf Generation. Strange Sounds Radio. Strange Sounds Radio. And get new Nerf Generation. I just mixed it up because you got all three. Look at that. The first time ever. A Zoom meeting. This is great. Ladies and gentlemen. The most. The third time I said it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Fourth time I said it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. CEO. Founder of Nerd Generation. Pablo. Pete, what's going on? What's going on, man? Looking forward, look forward to this show. Can't believe we're here. And of course, the, the the guest that you don't have to guess. He ain't small at all. Big Jeff Strange. Strange Sound Radio. Jeff. What's going on? It's Brooklyn in the house. Yes, indeed. Shout out to Brooklyn Bridge. Pretty Mahoney. We keep it real. Yeah, I spoke to him the other day, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. I don't know. I think, I think he got something against me because yo, I'll be sending the messages and I get nothing. I get the two checks that he saw it and nothing. <laughs> you know it's bad. Something went wrong. Ladies and gentlemen, this today topic something that maybe nobody wants to talk about, but maybe something a lot of people are talking about. MCU Future Series. We're gonna go back X Men Part Two. Mr. Solano, the X Men recasting. The X Men. <laughs> Give me some ideas, man, because to me, it's an easy thing to take McAvoy and Fastbender. Fastbender. That is it. No, <laughs> that's that's all you're gonna take. That's it. No. That's it. no, come on. There's other people out there, man. There's other people out there. They had their chance. They were. They what? weren't the best. Was the best, and then then there's people. Not, not Jennifer Lawrence. No, she 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 phoned it in that last one. She phoned it in. It was done. <laughs> it was done. Even her blue skin was fading. It was done. Um, and you have. I mean, obviously, you have people who want Hugh Jackman back. We we can we can discuss uh, that a little later. We can discuss that a little later because we can go on for hours about that. But yeah, man, James McAvoy, Michael Fassbender are the only two people I think I'd bring back. Because those guys, you know, they gave you that cat feeling and that, huge, and that Wolverine feeling like that's yeah. them. That's the character, right? So I think those two are good and recast everybody else. What like, about... Like, um, what's the name? They, they're getting older now, so um, Ian McClellan and no, no, uh, he's done. Stewart. He's done. No, no, they're, no, getting, no. they're getting, you know, plus he's back on Picard now. He's doing TV. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mr. Stewart. Pat Come to me, my ex man. You can bring back Iceman, cast a new angel. You Hell can't... no. Nope. Nope. Ah. No, nope. none of them. What about Kitty? Pro- <laughs> okay. She's doing well. She's doing well over there at Netflix. I ain't even Olivia Munn. Ellen Page. Listen, I'll give you a name. I'll give you a name. When they first started with Storm, it should have been Angela Bassett. Um, I yeah. heard someone like Iman. Oh, right? No question. Back in the day. Back in the day. Back in the day. Now, right now, I'm going to give you a name. Not tell, okay. tell me. Tell, I want to hear what Jeff has to say when I, when I say this. I name. thought you were going to say Lupita. She's already taken. No, 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 no. no. Come on, Jeff. I ain't going to That would have been nice. Yeah, that would have been nice, but she let's say she already got the character she got. Hope they write well, her in somewhere. I'm, I'm trying to think because I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm gonna tell you now. Okay. Dewanda Wise. The girl from She's Gotta Have It on Netflix. Okay. Oh yes. Yes, yes, and yes. That's a lot of weight playing storm, you know that, right? She, she, can do it. she can do it. She can do that it. Look, she has when she looks straight, in, especially on She's Gotta Have It. When she looks straight in the camera, look, Storm is exotic, beautiful. She is one of the chicks. She's a woman that you paint. You know how yeah. women in yeah. love with Fabio and the guy that they were painting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Storm is that chick, yo. She is yeah. bad. And the Wanda Wise has the look for it. No question. How tall is she? I don't care. 
Yeah, because it don't really don't he's matter because everybody enough. thought Wesley was he's like six enough. feet, whatever. And Wesley's like what, five eight, five nine? Yeah. The one so you, guys, you guys have no problem with just bring, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I don't. Bring it back, McAvoy, fast spinner, that's oh, that's already in your mind, that's yeah. done. Yeah, if they're gonna bring him back, I mean they did it with J. Jonah Jameson, right? Because why? Why did they bring him back? Why? He's he's perfect. Yeah. That's J. Jonah Jameson. I trust my barber. <laughs> he's perfect. Yeah. No question about that. And that lets you into the mind of Kevin. Like Kevin just like, yeah, this ain't gonna work. Kevin's like that. One step, two step, yeah. two step. I would love an hour with Kevin Feige, man. You you know Kevin Feige plays chess. Talk to him. Oh, yeah. So, let's, speaking of Kevin, let's bring up a, a topic that we all cheated on earlier about, um, what's, his, what's his name? Evan Peters? Peter, Evan, what's his name? He's over, ladies and gentlemen, he's over at HBO, American Horror Story. Great yeah. awards, Golden Globes, great format. But he's now doing MCU, but he's on this Fox thing where everybody knows every major corporation had joined in an all real world situation with protests and so on and so forth. Mr. Peters goes out to say something different. Now, from what I'm inside told, his manager, agent, lawyer, everybody flipped out. When your company that you work for acknowledge the fact that they are in support of something as an employee it would be bad for you to put publicly that you're not mm -hmm. and i just think that comes across for where these people used to be where they are at marvel studio we talk about this because we talked about this this ain't warner brothers this ain't dc this ain't the zach verse this ain't all those things where it's the zach verse <laughs> Yeah, well, this is this is an example of yo. Know, listen, Evan Peters got the call. I'm pretty sure immediately after he sent that tweet, like, yo, what are you doing? Are you crazy? Right? This. What think about this for a second. <laughs> think about this for a second. These people, these actors that work for Marvel, there are employees. They are not stars. Have you ever heard anybody else cross the line? Yeah. I work for Marvel and I have to carry myself in a certain way. Just like the Yankees, you got to shave. Sue, you, there are certain standards that you have to meet if you want to remain employed here or else the hammer comes down. And no, it's not, and it's not no, get out of here. No, it's like, I'm sorry, here are the papers. Thank you, but we can't work together. You disagree with that. I no. don't. I think, you know, I, listen, I went, to, I went to Catholic school and the, and the nuns and the, wearing the uniform. But you got to have some structure. I mean, I see what the kid across the street is doing. It's a mess. <laughs> That's over there. But getting back to the X-Men. So, okay, I guess we all agree. McAvoy and Fassbender, um, yeah. That's it. That's it. Yeah, because wow. everybody else is, it, it's got to be new. Yeah. It's already like 10 years, the more than 10 problem, years deep. The biggest problem, like you said, P, this whole, we want Hugh Jackman back. I mean. That's, fan, that's fans talking, man. They're not thinking, they're not think, they're not thinking business. Long run. Long term, the long, the old. Jackman, his run is over. If he makes a cameo, we'll clap to that. But cameo, as like, we'll part it. of the storyline, <laughs> no. There'll be a cameo. What he was in Winter Soldier. He was in Body a Cameo. I mean, did we see the problem is most studio has a history. There is a threat line. The same, the same goes on the studios. Yeah. Oh. I'm not knocking them. I'm not gonna. But this ain't that. Yeah. It's not. Hugh Jackman was fantastic, man. He was he was he was great. Yeah. It's over. Over. After I'm gonna give you another name. I'm gonna give you another name. 
Because everybody, already Tracy tried. knows, Tracy knows. If you can look it up, Jeff, um, on your computer and then tell me what you think. But people have been throwing Zach Efron's name. I don't think he's the right. You, Tracy, you've thrown his name out there. I don't think, I think he's just, Zach Efron is who? Cyclops? Wolverine, Wolverine. Wolverine. Oh. Because of the height thing, the young age. Because of the height. Another 10, 12 years. He just did that Ted Bundy thing, which everybody thinks is awesome. He could, so, I wouldn't be upset with that, but I, I still think there's someone else who is still, because, listen, because Wolverine is a rugged dude. Yeah. And he's has a certain, he carries himself a certain way. And the guy that I have in mind, Zach McGowan, he is perfect for the role. He may be, I don't know if he's the same height as Hugh. He, I think he's a little bit, a little shorter than him. Uh-huh. But in terms of appearance, yeah, how he speaks. I could, I could definitely see that, yeah. Zach McGowan is perfect. Because at one time I thought about Chris Pine. But Logan? But I mean, he, he he's like a, woke up a little bit. But vocally, I don't know if he'll. Yeah, that too. Carry that. Everybody wants to back there. To come back, but that that's over with. They need to recast that. Listen, nobody knew who the hell Hugh Jackman was before Wolverine. Nobody. There are other actors out there. You got to find somebody new. Christopher Reeve wasn't Christopher Reeve before Superman. He was Christopher Reeve after Superman. It is what it is. There's other stories to explore. Pablo, will you agree? Jeff, you will agree? No more Dark Phoenix for a while, please. Yes. Dark Phoenix has been running since the 1980s, whether it was animation, the, the whole video, Blu-ray, DVD. I, I, I think we all know the Dark Phoenix story. Give it a rest for a, a minute. Yeah. They keep running the same stories over. It's like, how many times Batman gonna fight Joker in the movies? How many times is Superman gonna fight Lex Luthor in the movies? They have other rogues in their gallery. Pick some. I would love to see Arcade jump into this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Arcade's like the Riddler to me. Arcade's yeah. like the Riddler. But he was I hilarious. Mean, I, I, he was, you know, like, young Jim Carrey could have did Arcade. Mm-hmm. This is the thing. And I don't want to um, jump off the topic of um, X Men, of X Men, but we are. I am spoiled because of Thanos. Yes. I need exposition. I don't need. Again, we've said it. You can count how many times we've said this. The twisty mustache evil guy. <laughs> don't want that. And nothing against Oscar Isaac. There was no development to that character. He came out of nowhere. There's that history guy. with that dude. Apocalypse, there's history there. He's one of those, he's, he's, he's another one of those dudes that's everywhere. He's in everything. Every, you, you, cannot, you cannot treat him like a one-off. Nope. Nope. I just didn't like the, the, the actor they got to play him. I was like, yeah, Oscar, Oscar Isaacs. Yeah, he's like, what? But what? Yeah. I'm expecting to see a Michael Clark Duncan looking dude or something like that. Well, that's what Fox was putting it out there. They needed need money. And uh, Disney gobbled, gobbled them up about a year later. So that's like a, that's a no-brainer how quickly that went. I just think that what's the development for the other characters? What do you guys think? They go younger, keep the matriarchs, which is McElroy, Fox, Bender, the same, and make all of the other X-Men younger? So that they can keep making movies and keep people engaged to that one character. Because the MCU, with all these characters happening, they're busy. I don't have time to keep switching out Angel, switching out Iceman, switching out. Hey, will I introduce Banshee? Wow, Banshee. And Nightcrawler. So do we keep these? And that's yeah. Do you keep these kids that were in the last Dark Phoenix movie? Or you wipe it out? I, Jeff, you want to take this? Cast. All new cast, except for McAvoy and, and yeah, Mom. All new cast. Find somebody that's a casting director like us that's read a comic book. 
yeah, and, you know, and like have the comic book there, and you go like, yeah, I like him. Yes. And then and then see how they look, and then look at the acting skill. Yeah, yeah, Because I'm like, because even the kid they had playing um Proud Star, like, I mean um, you know what I mean? Yeah, Thunderbird. Yeah. Thunderbird, American Indian, beautiful. Like I mean, you killed him as quickly as you did in the comic books. It's like, come on. It's crazy how. And Trey, you can agree because every time somebody talks about, oh, I want to be. I'd like to come back, Nicholas Holt, James yeah. Martin, all these dudes. Everybody want to come back. Why wouldn't you? Oh no, I mean, no, that, that's one. Why wouldn't you want to come back? Yeah, but I'm sorry, it's yeah. over. <laughs> it's over. It's over. James Marsden was was. I mean, they made him too. I think he was a good Cyclops. Yeah. But he wasn't the leader. Yeah, he wasn't. Oh. Well, that's because they ran in difference to Hugh Jackman's Wolverine character. I mean, a lot, like you like said, Henry Cavill wants some type of redemption. I'm sure Holly Berry does too. And I'm sure Marsden wants too. But Holly Berry is donezo. Huh? Holly Berry is donezo. She's done. Yeah. I would care and be like, no, sorry. Plus, like, she might have the next recurring role in uh, the next John Wick. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. She ain't but, broke. But not this, not this. It's, that's all. No. I already said it. The Wanda Rice. The so, Wanda Rice. So, yeah, we go with a 10 to 12 year plan for these actors. And that's, but, but, but let me ask you this Do you start from scratch? I know what Marvel is attempting to do. What they are going to do is they are going to have them appear in these movies. It, the exposition, we're going to see them. I mean, I mean, when, yeah. when the X-Men come together, it'll be an Endgame or Infinity War moment. That's when the X-Men are formed. Do they start young? I don't know. Um, but, but to me, I mean, the long division. Like, sure. think about, there's know. two possibilities. I don't know if you, I don't watch This Is Us. I'm just saying right now, I don't watch it. <laughs> But in passing, I see some of it with my wife, right? Yeah. The, the There's an actor there um, that is brother to um, Sterling, Sterling's brother. Sterling Brown? Know. Yeah, Sterling K. Brown. His brother in that, that show. He looks like a good Cyclops. Also, Pablo Schreiber. Wait, Sterling Brown? You want his, his brother Cyclops? I'll look him up. Okay, seen this dude many times. Yes, he can play a convince a convincing Cyclops leader of the. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. I remember him in, in um, yeah. what's the name? Gods. He was in a movie with Fifty Cent in them. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah, and the dude that played um King Leonidas in uh, Three Hundred. Yeah, he was in a uh, Den of Thieves. Yes. 50. yes. You know what? Can you honestly? I can honestly say that I would never race switch a role, even though I think and I know that my boy is going to play Jeffrey Wright is going to play one of the best Jim Gordons. But I just initially would never have done that. I would have never made Billy V. Williams Harvey Dent. That's just me. Jeff, how you felt about that? That's- I never understood that, and then you didn't even follow through with it because I'm trying to picture Harvey. <laughs> Come on. He was gonna be always cool. He was no, he was yeah. gonna change the way he talked. Dude, you make hard, uh, he was never gonna change the way how he talked. You want my arm to fall off? Like, no. Yeah. I need to <laughs> <laughs> flip with this. They didn't have no smooth <laughs> Mac Daddy voice. Nah, V. So yeah, Batman. I mean, but we we yeah. all agree. We know Jeffrey Wright's not convincing. Jeffrey Wright Wright is going to be incredible. Incredible. With anything else in an X Men, in the MCU, if they rate switch any of the actors with that Bobby, they can't rate switch Storm. No, 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 no. That's out. That's out. That's a. You know, they're giving the Charlize Theron because she's South African? No, no. No, no, no. I walk out. I won't go go see the movie. 
No. Yeah, like, yeah, no. It's like, what was that, uh, that uh, joke by uh, Paul well, Wood, you know, Meryl Streep is going to play Harriet Tubman. <laughs> and they almost got J Julia Roberts. Well, the uh, story That's was crazy. you can out McElvoy for Giancarlo Esposito. Yeah. Now, he's a great actor since yeah, school I, days. I'll since say school that. days, and, but why are you doing it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it it bothers me. It bothers me. It never bothers. It, it, it bothers me. But he can be a menacing person, and Magneto is. Yeah. He can he can play the Magneto character, right? No, they want him to be he can portray. But they want, huh? They want Giancarlo to be Professor X. I thought it was Magneto. No. Yeah, I can see him more as Magneto than than uh, Professor. I know. I think he could do Professor X too. He could do Professor X. He could do Professor. Okay. X. Now, I don't mind that almost. Yeah, but when you do that, do you flip Magneto? I mean, if you're gonna flip one character race, right, and you're gonna flip the other one, so now what is this? Martin Luther King and Malcolm X thing? Or Again, the, the although vision. I wouldn't mind those. The original uh, vision by uh, Stan and, and uh, Jack. So if we do in the reboot with the X-Men in the MCU, what thread line or do we want all the thread lines? Do we want Magneto and Genosha? Do we want the fact that Apocalypse is around? Do we want the fact that Apocalypse was working with Mr. Sinister? We want everything, right? Jeff? This is how you do build the story. You gotta give, you gotta include all of that. There are there's at least, and not even all of them that you named, Trace, all those stories. There's at least 20, 20 or 30 years of movies there. Yes. Okay. So that's what that's, I guess. Why do you keep doing Dark Phoenix? Why do you keep doing Dark Phoenix? Listen, if they did Dark Phoenix the way they did it in the animated series, I am there. The way they did it in the animated series, if they do it like that, I am there. Okay. That was the best adaptation. You want to see Mr. Sinister, who has never been on screen. Who is this guy? Yes. That dance is between Tony Stark and Doctor Strange. He's in the middle. We, is he an alchemist? Like, who, who, who is this Mr. Sinister? Yo, Jeff, you can agree with me that even in the in the X-Men animated series, Mr. Sinister was always in the background doing yeah. something. Yeah, chilling just... Just like who? Thanos. It, only in the animated series, if you saw the animated series, they did a show on his background and how he came to be. But I look at that because I'm like, look this sinister guy. I'm telling you, it's deep. It's deep. Listen, there's a, there's a lot of characters. Uh, the one thing that the X-Men reboot will bring into the MCU, there will be more female super characters. And of course, it starts off with Storm. Gene Gray oh. and Rogue. Those three, yeah. So, and then Kitty Pride. Kitty Pride has a, a pet dragon. Is he a real dragon, like in mythology? No, he's a dragon from another galaxy. Yeah. He's not I don't think they go that deep. But that's a few. Will they go that deep? I don't think so. You know, I really think they should start from. The original five is already there, and the yeah, new, and the yeah. new class is coming in. You yeah. know why? You know why? You, you know why it doesn't go that far? Because I only have these characters or these actors for a limited amount of time. So it's gonna take too long to draw out the fact that they, that little they're, dragon. They're, so they're picking storylines and doing those storylines, dragging those storylines <laughs> out. I mean, there's other storylines besides the Phoenix saga. Oh no, 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 no. I agree with you on that. There's other storylines. That's where you bring in um Sinister. Because he got nothing to do with that. You know? That's how they do it. Other storylines. And the Hellfire Club. And the Hellfire Club. Emma Frost, the White Queen. Thank you. Pete, what are we talking about? You're right. I don't have time to waste time on the little dragon. If I give it to Kitty Pride, I give it to her. If I don't. Even Colossus, she's gonna be in a relationship with Colossus. I got Colossus' sister who kicks off the new mutants. Magic. Ileana? 
Mephisto. I mean, it just boom, boom, boom. Yeah, Mephisto plays, and Mephisto plays a big part in Doom's storyline, which I think they'll yeah they probably will consider. He got his mother. He got his mother. Yeah, exactly. That's a story. That's a powerful storyline, man. That gives Doom some depth. He's not the. He's not oh the, no, he never was. Not that. Now he's I'll tie you that. to the tracks. <laughs> this, yeah, this, this, this storyline. That storyline. Play that storyline out, and you are gonna have. Like, damn, Doom, I hope he, you know, you're going to root for him somewhat, but at to what point? Because he's going to do whatever it takes to get to his ultimate goal. Because I was, I was watching another comic dude do this thing about Doom. And, you know, he even said, like, yeah, he's grown way beyond the Fantastic Four. Like, Rich, Reed Richards knows him the best, but he's grown way beyond just the Fantastic Four. Yeah. And I'm like, he could damn near have a whole movie. If, if Joker can have a whole movie, Doom can have a whole movie. Yo, P, P I want my prop. Did I not say that? Yeah. Doom should get his own movie. He That would be, would that be a first of like a, a villain getting his own, you know, you know, outside Joker. of Dracula and, and Joker. Yeah, okay. Joker got his own movie. That's right. That's right. My bad. My bad. I'll edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 you're right. You're right. Yeah, yeah. Doom, Doom deserves it. Doom deserves it. Because when you're gonna get Doctor Doom, it will sell out. If you put other characters in there, it will sell out. I'm gonna make a bill, but it'll be up there with Deadpool money. Yeah, and you and you sprinkle all the Easter eggs around him. You you see him. You you get him from college with Reed Richards bumping into Ben Grimm in the hallway or something like that. And then, you know, down the line, you just see him on down the line. You, you know, he look up in the air and see Iron Man flying overhead and you're like, pompous ass, you know, or something like that. Listen, you know, that Doom has just so much depth. Yeah. That giving him his own film, I wouldn't doubt that it made a billion. Come on, man, Captain Marvel made a billion, yo. Aquaman made a billion. Well, you know, we said if Doom can't make a billion. Do with Doom, Doom you're doing something. That's like giving Darth Vader his own film. Yeah. Yes. Because yeah. that's that's who on par as far as villains is concerned. Doom. You think Darth Thanos? You think Darth. that if Darth Vader was given a film, you think people wouldn't go see it? The fuck. It'll make a billion dollars, guaranteed. If it's dope, so you got to get the the most decent writers that have read a comic book. Anybody that play Rogue or is there any new? Oh, they're probably gonna find someone who the majority of the public yeah. doesn't recognize, and she won a couple of con film awards, or they probably will win a couple of. Hey, you want to get in the superhero business? They're gonna say yeah. Listen, they would cast them. The way we would cast them, they gotta be perfect. They gotta convince me, like, oh yes, that's Rogue. Yes, that's Jean Grey. I mean, Jean Grey gotta be bad. I said this earlier. B, you hit it on the head. The Hercules show, because I forgot about that dude, and I was like, oh, who you talking about? Arnold? No, the the the, 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 the Arnold movie. Oh, the guy that played, you know, with the beard you got for playing Hercules? Lou Ferrigno. Lou, 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 Lou Ferrigno. No, Lou no the, the, the Hercules show y'all did before. Oh, Caleb Cannon by Munger. Yes. Yes. That's He's a perfect, perfect Hercules. Perfect. He's He's like, perfect. He a beard, and I was like this. I said, yes, that's <laughs> Hercules. <laughs> and I could see it right there. I could see he'd be standing around and everything else, and Chris Hemsworth would walk by with like, you are not cold? Yeah. So I am Hercules. I don't get cold. You should know that by now, Paul. Remember when we were kids? He like, I hated your ass when we was kids. Oh, man. <laughs> he could be, he could be arrogant. To coming back and yes. forth. He could be arrogant. The guy can be arrogant. He can play that role to a T. Don't play around hiring some dude that looks regular, that look like Billy's. Billy's? Oh. Nah. 
when when I when you when you put that picture of him with his beard, I said yes, and I said all you need is that little that oh, yeah, war yeah, helmet. Little, yeah, yeah. That's his his little war helmet headdress, and the way his beard was then there, like long and curly. I was like, God, my God, my God. you know, the X Men has a future, and I think we all will agree that whatever the casting is, they really should think Pablo 10, 12 years down the line. Correct. That's the only way. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna choose the storylines that interconnects everything else. They're gonna make sure everything works. Ten years down the line, they have to. You have to. Yeah, you gotta Just grab a couple. You gotta grab a bunch of twenty year olds. Think about it, man. Think how. Think of Robert Downey Jr. and Chris Evans. They were here for ten years. And they said, yeah. so for Chris Evans is a break. For Robert Downey Jr., he thought it was forever. <laughs> Then he did Dr. Luz, <laughs> Dr. Doolittle. <laughs> and then he said, can, can, can I come back? Can I come back home? No. I don't know. Go hang out. <laughs> you heard, and you heard what. You can go hang out with Terrence Howard now. <laughs> yeah. Now I can be friends. You, you know, the Russo, one of the Russos said that he has to. It has to be done right. Huh? That it has to be done right. He has to be. He has to, he has to be earned. Cause I thought they was gonna bring him back as an AI or something like that. Yeah. If they do, it's like I. I, I don't know if I'll care because you know it's it's he it's just not him. You know I don't know. I don't know. I think that would be cheap. Come from one of the other multiverses and want to grab them and pull them. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Lucy Ray is crazy, like jaw dropping. Life model decoy. That's the only way. You're like, what's the, old, what's the old Hollywood saying? Who was in on that joke? So you're saying that she was, Nick Fury was, that a whole bunch of you knew. Wow. That's crazy if they did so. I mean, wow. how many times they did that with Nick Fury? Well, we were talking about Nick Fury before. The, Nick Fury is an easy out, the infinity formula. And next thing you know, you get a Nick Fury 40 years younger. Easy. And it's still him. The Infinity Formula? Yeah. Dude, that was a whole series. Listen, if that happens... That white Nick Fury, the white Nick Fury, he drank it. After they got Captain America out the ice, they took some of his blood, experimented. They made the Infinity Ooh. Formula. The Infinity yeah, Formula. He's still aging, but it's like... Wolverine ages. Yeah. Like, this has been great. MCU Future Series. X-Men Recast Reboot. Uh, yes. Jeff, any last words? Any, any shout out? Any shout out? To, you, know? Uh, you know, just stay safe out there. You know, yeah. that's all I can say right now. Stay safe and pray. Yeah, I mean, I want to give a shout out to uh, Fred and to my people who play the video and share it with their friends. And yes, yes. And like and subscribe and all that. So we're gonna sign off on this one. Jeff, strange, strange. Yes, sir. Third generation. AKU signing out. All right. Peace. Peace.